Hello everyone, just as the title says, in this video we're going to go over how to get notifications on when your washing machine or your dryer for your clothes have completed running. I hope somebody finds this useful and enjoy. On the left right here, you'll see the CASA HS110 energy monitoring receptacles. I like using these, but they're getting pretty hard to find. And on the right is the Emporia View 2. I did a separate video on how to add this to Home Assistant, but uh, it's really awesome. You can either add the third-party integration, or people also flash them and put, um, uh, I think it's ESP Home on them. Let's go ahead and get started. So obviously the first thing you do is you open up your Home Assistant interface. And then there's a few parts to this. One with the uh, CASA switches or the CASA receptacles. You just simply make sure it has a static IP address. And then you add it to Home Assistant via the add device. And then all you need is the IP address. And then from here, you'll get all these sensors. And these are all pretty dang neat. But the only one we really need for this video, and I do stuff with these two, but the one thing I really need for this video is pretty much the wattage. I mean, you can use the amps, but I don't. The other one we need is this Emporia View. And I think if I remember correctly, it's this one, but I could be wrong. But essentially, since the dryer is a... Uh, Use a different, you know, larger plug, not a standard um, 120 volt plug. I can't just buy a Casa HS110 and put it on there. Instead, I'm monitoring the breaker, and I'm doing that with the imported view. Well, it is a closed dryer. So, what we do then is now we have our devices, and I use the wattages here. So remember this. Now we're going to go to Studio Code Server or File Editor, whatever you use. And this is considered a binary sensor. And I will make sure I add this to the GitHub, which you can find in the link in the description below. But what we're doing here with these template sensors is we are essentially making a, a sensor that determines whether or not it's running. The first part of it is the icon. If this is considered on, then we want the washing machine on icon. If it's not, then off. The reason I put this delay on here is because sometimes, you know, when your washing machine or dryer, when they cycle, when they go between cycles, they use almost no power. So it would create false, I guess, notifications that it's completed when it really hasn't, if we didn't add this delay in here. As far as the sensor itself, it's pretty easy. Essentially, if the wattage is um, over 10, then consider it on. That's pretty much what this says. Now, this is much more accurate than the breaker monitoring. I noticed with the Emporia integration that there's a tad bit of a delay, which is fine. You know, I'm not going to jump up or off the couch the very second it finishes. I just want to know it's done. But it's the same concept like this, except for this time we're monitoring the breaker watts. Once we have these created, we will be able to have sensors that look like this. And as an example, I believe we can go here. And you see, let's see here. You can see right here it actually ran. So about 7.45 last night, we turned on the washing machine. And it was considered done at 8.30. And now from there, what you do is you create some automations. You know, one or two, whatever. Let's see where I put mine. And I know that I don't have many, but it's because I've been working to uh, pretty much start them over again. So you can either monitor the wattage. You don't even have to have that sensor. I just like to have it on there. But you can monitor the wattage and skip the template sensor altogether. But instead, I chose to do washer here. When it goes from on to off, it's very simple. I set the volume on my Amazon Alexa Echo, and then I tell it to say, 
And, you know, I try to mix them up a little bit, but what this essentially is, is it will randomly pick one of these phrases to say. And then it will also tell my phone that it's ready to be emptied. The title is the washing machine. And you have the same concept for the uh, dryer. So we'll go back to the dryer. Oh, well, I need to get rid of this now. This was before I fixed the uh, issue where it wasn't um, properly notifying. But anyway, I can actually get rid of this altogether. Now we're doing the same thing. We're setting the volume. And then we're picking a random phrase to notify via TTS. And then we're sending a message to my phone. And uh, that's really it for this one. And again, you'll find the link in, to my GitHub in the description below. And I'll manually put all the YAML for all this. Again, I hope somebody found this useful. If you liked it, please, you know, of course, like, share, subscribe, and uh, distribute it to somebody else. Thanks.